All right, all right, all right. All right, what's happening, Arcaders? This is Danny, the ultrasonic player here, and I am coming to you live with a brand new stream. Um, so, um, first off, before everything, um, I just want to I just want to say, everyone, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, um, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, and happy Winter Solstice, um, and just happy holidays in general to everybody out there. I hope your holidays was was good. I know mine was. Got a chance to uh, have breakfast with my folks. We were able to have a lot of presents. Um, so that was always, which again, is always a great thing. You know, just family and presents. It just enough said. It just in all, it was really a really really good holiday for me and, and my folks. So and I hope yours was too. So um, I know we're not at New Year's Eve yet, but what we're gonna, but still, no reason why not to start the festivities early. So. What this is going to be is in keeping with what we've been doing over here at the at the archives. Oh, hey, yep, uh, Uber Nerd. Hey, good to see you, buddy. All right, so in keeping with what we've been doing uh, so far for the past few months at the archives, we are continuing with with our Konami special, and in this case, we're pretty much we're doing now Konami Vember or it's going to be uh, Konami Sember. <laughs> so, so to, so to kickstart the whole thing, what are we going to do? Which which exactly what game are we going to use? Well. That's a very good question, because I really, on the one hand, I don't really want to do a rehash of what's been done already, but at the same token, I still want to try and keep it interesting for everybody. So what we're going to do is, uh, or rather, what I'm going to do is actually, um, I'm going to go ahead and start with actually Scorpion, uh, Scramble. All right, and of course, a uh, big shout out to uh, to my pal Ubernerd527. Yes, happy holidays to you too, man. Um, but again, it's good to be back. And uh, I know I originally was planning on streaming yet last night, but apparently I kind of I kind of got I don't know what happened with the connections. Uh, but all that's been taken care of, so I'm here. And so, and to everybody out there, um, you know, just uh, um, happy holidays. Um, I'm glad to see you all, and I'm glad to be here. So let's go ahead and start playing with power. And we're going to do that by kicking off our Kanabi Sember special with Scramble. And of course, I really want to give a shout out to Raygun, who actually was the one who introduced me to this game. Because I had kind of seen, you know, again, as, as those who probably may have heard me say before, um, I actually, and, and if not, it's, I'm sorry, um, it's okay. Uh, but basically, um, this game I had seen bits and pieces of during um during the disney quest days but it was kind of more like in passing you know i never really gave it much thought until now or at least until ray had actually brought it up on one of his articles and believe you me this game definitely is a must-have not not just if you're a konami fan but also just in general to me if you're a fan of just good good old stuff good classic shoot 'em ups so let's go ahead and let's get this party started and of course feel free to drop a line in the chat because we are basically going to we're going to be basically just we're going to be streaming as much as possible so let's see here huh all righty then guess it's not uh, okay well so much for that all right so here we go how far can you invade our scramble system well let's find out played this in, in a while and yet I'm actually pretty oh whoops <laughs> spoke too soon <laughs> Okay, all right, first off, I meant to do that. 
I meant to do that. <laughs> okay, all right. You know what? Let's try that again. Because this is not going to be a... I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to do caravan mode for this game or in any of the other ones. So basically, uh, it's just going to be just as far as I possibly can until I can't no more. So let's go ahead and try this again from the top. And so again, for those who are just joining, uh, welcome. Uh, you know, it's good. It's gonna be back. And of course, uh, you know, happy holidays to everyone. You know, I hope everyone's holidays were respect were great. I know mine were. Gosh. Oh, man. Uh. Oh, man. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's try that again. Gotta try not to get hit. <laughs> Wow, three lives. Phew. Always got to have fuel. Ugh. Okay, I think I'm being a little bit hesitant on that one. <sighs> wow, okay, that was pretty cool. All right. Um, let's go ahead and... Uh, 
continue our little Konami celebration or Konami Sember with this time something a little more. Ah, this one you can never really go wrong with. All right, caravan mode. I don't think so. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. I think I messed up somewhere. <laughs> hold on. All right. Um, Yeah, high score mode. Just because. <laughs> All right. Okay, yeah. I meant to do that. I meant to do that. <laughs> They should give extra points if you're able to dodge a vehicle just by a pixel or two. Just to really kind of like... That was too close. <laughs> Yeah, it really is. Whoa! Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it. Frogger is definitely one of those classic arcade games that, again, you just want to play it again and again. And fortunately, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So yeah, no high score mode or caravan mode this time. So yeah, it, it's it's again, it was definitely one of the highlights of Disney Quest for sure.
I still wish that Disney Quest was back, but you know, such is the way of things. All right, so one extra frog for every 20,000 points. Let me see if I can actually hit that. Just that 20,000, let's see how far I can go. But yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely an arcade classic for sure, for sure. All right, so let's try this again. <laughs> yes! All right. Phew! Trying to get to the, to the lily pad where the bug is there is always kind of a challenge, for sure. All right. Okay, Uber Nerd, we'll see you in a bit. All right. All right, folks, so yeah, so, uh, yeah. So Uber Nerd is just taking a break, but he'll be back soon. So in the meantime, let's just go ahead and keep arcading. All right, we'll see you in a bit. So again, so again, folks, if you have not been following UberNerd527, you should, because the guy is a fantastic genius, a very creative artist, for sure. was too close. <laughs> well, for being a frog, frogger certainly can't swim, and I don't know why that's the case. Still, we're trying again. <laughs> I'm gonna try again on this thing. Every 20,000 points.
here we go. So again, if you are just joining me, um, I'm just doing a stream on Konami Sember. I'm just seeing how far I can go with this. Hello? Huh. Now, for those of you who've been following me, following me on Instagram, I know you, you might have noticed that I said Konami Summer Conclusion. Well, considering that tomorrow is pretty much... Oh, I know. No, tomorrow is not New Year's Eve. But given that Saturday will be, I figure, you know what? May as well go ahead and see if there's a way to close out our Konami highlight, our, or rather, our Konami coverage, so to speak. Especially since... Especially since I do want to be able to do some more streaming on New Year's Eve. How much, I don't know. But I definitely want to be able to do a lot more, and not just Konami-centric. Okay, wow. <laughs> Still, alright. Well, that was fun. Alright, so let's go ahead and try something else. Alright, let's see. What else we got here in, the, in, the, in our Konami library? Ah, Puyan. Now, this one I've actually been getting a lot more confident about. And we'll go with the original mode. And here we go. Yeah, so far so good. 22 minutes in. All right, folks. So again, if you are just joining me, welcome. Hmm. Sorry. So welcome everybody to uh, to this little stream. Um, yes, it is Konami Sember. Um, so yeah, the Konami coverage continues. So what I'm going to do is basically just uh, play some classic Konami games and just basically see how far I can go. All right. So I might play. I, I know towards the end I might decide to play another game that may not that isn't made by Konami, but we'll find out. But we'll uh, we'll find out. All right. And actually. Or anything else let me see if it's possible to kind of update this thing a bit let's see here um ah here we are yes that should do it all right so let's give it a shot all right and here we go so that's right folks so the arcade game i just picked is the konami classic puyan First bonus after 5,000 points, and then every bonus every 80,000 points after that. All right. Not too shabby. Let's do this. And, you know, I have to say, this game has definitely been growing on me quite a bit. I mean, even I didn't think I was going to like it as good. I didn't think I was going to like it this much, but, yeah, it is definitely a must. Bombs away! <laughs> oh, ah, man. It's one thing if it hits the canopy, but if it hits you, you're pretty much done.
So, are you wolves hungry? <laughs> It there. <laughs> the second part is always a pain in the neck. Play that back. <laughs> oh man, uh Okay, no, I'm playing that again. Still, did manage to... So let's try that again one more time. Just one more. <laughs> Though it's probably going to be more than just one. <laughs> Oof, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> hmm. ah. It's always a tricky part trying to dodge those rocks. Below. Look out below. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Two minutes and ten sec two minutes and ten seconds. Okay, no. I'm going for it again. <laughs> no, I'm not giving up. I am not giving up. Ha! 
<laughs> yeah, the first stage is always the easiest. Look out below! Ah, oh, man! So much for trying to... Uh. All right. Hand over those pigs! Oh my gosh, ah, oh. that, that balloon. Ah, and I keep basically flying right into those things. Ah. Still, at least it's a lot, at least it's a lot more, you know, at least way more time than, than the previous one. But, oh man, just trying to dodge those rocks though, when they, that's, yeah. <laughs> okay, you know what? I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go for one more try and see what happens. Ah, all right. And while I'm at it, all right, here we go. All right, here we go. That should do it. All right, here we go. One more time. Oof. Oh my gosh, I really gotta pay more attention to when they throw those rocks. All right, all right. Good to see you, Urban Nerd. <laughs> okay, folks, so again, um, you know, welcome to our little uh, Konami Sember streaming event. 
Um, I am Danny, the ultrasonic player. And of course, uh, I just got joined by my good friend, UberNerd527. And so here I am playing Puyan. I think that's how you pronounce it. So now we're just going to see how far I can go with this game, which again, this was actually something that Ray, Ray Gun, our godfather of the arcade archives, uh, came up with. Or rather, it's one that, um, or rather, excuse me, it's based off of an article um, inspired by the, oh gosh, <laughs> I can talk tonight, I swear. So basically, uh, the arcade the arcade game that I'm playing right now is basically Puyan. It's a Konami classic that uh, I believe that oh yep oh man uh, well let's face it there was no way to dodge that one. <laughs> so I really got to give a shout out to Raygun again for this game because basically it's his article that actually got my attention. hope that those rocks actually hit you know the, either the top part or this bottom part of uh, of the th of this of the skyline lift thing that, that you're on but if it even if it's if you're even off by a pixel you're pretty much done oh man crazy but yes folks that was Puyan which is basically an arcade classic done by Konami and of course again I didn't know anything about this game until I saw Ray's article about it and it is definitely a must-have uh, for arcade. If, if you're an arcader, especially an old-school arcader, this is definitely a must-have game. Um, but it's definitely not a walk in the park as you as you go along, <laughs> that's for sure. You're definitely gonna be put through your paces for sure. Oh, a little uh, demonstration. Of course, yep, one wolf, 400 points, two wolves, 400 plus 800, and so on and so forth. So it's a nice little way of uh, keeping score. All right. So let's uh, let's see what else we got here. Let's see. Uh -huh. So for the moment, it's just strictly Konami right now. We may decide to do something else towards the end, but for now, it is basically that. Ah, all right. Here's one that's really been um, a lot of fun, but also definitely a, it, it can be very challenging. But then again, hey, back in those days, these games would put you through your paces for sure. And games like this one definitely show why Konami back in the day was pretty much one of the best arcade games or one of the best arcade developers out there. And especially why Konami was one of the big three in terms of developers for the NES. It was, for me, or at least, for me anyway, the big three publishers were Konami, Capcom, and Acclaim. So, and rightfully so. And again, you know, to Uber Nerd, hey, it's good to see you back, buddy. I know I said that before, but again, it's it's great to see you. Um, so again, and folks, if you have not been following Uber Nerd, I highly recommend you do. The man is a talented artist and definitely one worth keeping an eye on, because let's face it, his, his artwork is definitely a must-see. It really is. So, so the game I chose for this one is going to be Gradius 2, though which version? Vulcan Venture or Gradius 2? I think we're going to go ahead and try this one on, on for size, because I've tried the original Gradius, but not Vulcan Venture. But again, like I said, folks, again, um, Uber Nerd, again, great friend, talented artist, definitely a must follow <laughs> for sure. All right, so, uh, but this one, it's going to be Vulcan Venture, a.k.a. Gradius 2, a game which sadly never saw the light of day, even though it was basically a sequel to the original Gradius 1. Um, but of course, fortunately, though, we did get a chance to get a taste of what this kind of game would have been like, um, albeit via Gradius 3, which, again, is another game I highly recommend, and I do hope that 
on one of the Super NES um, updates that they get around to putting that game on there because this is def it, Gradius 3 is definitely a must. And yeah, you're very welcome, Uber Nerd. All right, so let's go ahead and get this party started. Let's get started. So let's see. First bonus at 20,000 points and then every 70,000 points after that. Always more partials of the force field. Here we go. Deploy them all. Ginger. No, I had been. I was gonna re. I was gonna hit reset. Ow! Ouch. Okay. Just teach you to improvise a bit. Okay, well, oh. Oh. oh man. Oh man. Whew. All right. I'm trying this again from the top. Let's see if let's see if we can try this again.
Shoot it in the head. All right, here we go. Can I time this just right, or is my neck? For chicken barbecue style <laughs> Both laser. All right. I, gotta, I can't forget I have missiles Play the NES version all day. Okay, whew. that was too close. Folks, I'm glad that they actually allowed it to where you basically see even guys can guys aren't the only ones who can play this. <laughs> Everyone can. Whew. Boy, that was fun. So let's see what else we got. Oh, okay. So let's try the third one, which is actually my personal favorite. Okay, so let's see here. Alright, let me just change the thing now. Yeah, Gradius 3. Alrighty then. So let's see here. Okay, the original version, new version, Asian version, custom mode. All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and try the new version. Ugh. All right. So let's go ahead and do it. There was the original Gradius. And then, fast forward to 1986, in which we were introduced to not so much a sequel of sorts, but rather, or was it? Let's see. But now, yes, in 19. And I'm guessing the one before that was Life Force, which I did play the NES version. And of course, this one, Gradius 2. And then, of course, last, but certainly not least, in 1989, Gradius number three.
you really got to give it to Konami. They really, when it came to music, these guys knew their stuff. Okay, yep. Same as before. First bonus at every 20,000 points, and then every 70,000 points after that. All right. Let's do this. Whoa. All right, let's see. Here. Try that. Force field. Here we go. Destroy them all. Speed up. Here we go. Missile. Multiple. Not see that at all. Laser. Speed up. Too close. <laughs> Destroy the mouth. Okay. That was too close. You'll definitely not look at bubbles the same way again, that's for sure. Whew. 
Okay, all right, definitely should have moved a little too fast. Okay, all right, yeah. Okay, all right, uh, oh. still, whew. Okay, that was definitely fun, though. <laughs> Game over. over. I know, okay, in my case, uh, my zodiac sign is a Virgo, but I can't. Right. Yes, yes, I would like to publish my score in online rankings. Yes. Wow, that was definitely something. All right, hold on. Little. All right. All right. All right, there we go. All right, beat up. But still, that was definitely a lot of fun. Oh my gosh. Um, whew. And I don't think I even made it that far in my Super NES version. Whew. All right, all right. So it looks like uh, the clock is yep, and the clock is ticking. So I think we're gonna go ahead and actually go for one more round. But instead, it's not so much going to be this one. This time around, it is actually going to be... Yep, that's right, folks. We are going back to the sewers. So, let's just go ahead and make a little update to the feed. All right, there we go. All righty then. So let's go ahead and take a trip back to the sewers. So, Cowabunga dudes, if you got some pizza on hand, go ahead and have some right now. Because now we're going to go kick some, kick some foot, namely the Foot Clan. <laughs> you know, again, you got to give uh, credit to Digital Eclipse because when it comes to like the compilations they do, they really don't waste any time. You know, the attention to detail is always something good. Here's in a half shell, turtle power. All right, folks, that's right. We're going back to the sewers uh, to cap off our Konami Sember celebration. Now, is this going to be the last one? I'm going to go ahead and say part of it. So I'll say this isn't the only. Uh, this isn't going to be the only one. Now, in terms of games, no, we're not going to go with that one or that one. But instead, let's see. Ah, yep, this is the jam. Now, it's not going to be the entire game, given that again that I do want to try and cat, I do want to try and go to sleep a little bit early tonight. But uh, nevertheless, I definitely want to give you guys a real good TMNT experience, NES style, because this game again means a lot to me as it does to many who were fortunate enough to play this game way back when. Was this game hard? Yes, absolutely. But nevertheless, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, but enough rambling from me. Let's go ahead and do this. Like, you know, that, that was what was so great about the old NES games. Most of them, you didn't even want to even start the game right away. You wanted to watch the intro. And 
And let's be honest, who who's, who played as Donatello strictly? Because again, Donatello pretty much can mop the floor with most of the bad guys you run into. And he was definitely a must. He was definitely the, the real uh, the real MVP of this game. So here we go. Here we go. Just the turtle for those. Oh man, it almost happened. Okay, here we go. Don't waste any time with these guys. Just basically switch to Don and just go for and just take the, take them out. <laughs> oh, and of course, you can't play Leo without one, without having to say his probably most iconic line in the cartoon. We gotta do something. All right, folks, so here we go. There's just something about seeing the, the screen flicker that way when there's too many enemies on the screen that just makes it endearing. And I know it just sounds kind of weird, but still, I mean... Ah! Almost had him that time. Thank you. 
And here we go. And let's be honest, the music really gave a sense of, okay, things are about to get real. Don't make Raphael sarcastic. You won't like him when he's sarcastic. Oh man, oh, this is for Mikey. Who knew the Holland Tunnel could be so, you know, spacious? And now here's the tough part. And it's one of those things it's one of those things where if you get it right, great, but if you don't, oh boy. Like that. Uh, and on the one hand you're racking up a lot of points, but my gosh.
Okay, here's the tough part. Ah! Seriously, arcaders these days do not know the meaning of the word pain. <laughs> they will after playing this one, this game. Less than one minute. Okay, here it goes. Get sucked in. Trying not to get. Ugh. Phew. Oh. Whew. Oh. Whew. Made it. <laughs> Shred. Next level, Wall Street. <laughs> and not only that, but we got the party wagon to boot. All right. So actually, you know what? Let's sneak a peek at the strategy guide and see what it says. All right. The Turtles NES debut. In the single-player adventure, you'll explore not lo five non-linear city areas and one shocking underwater maze, trying to track down Shredder and get his life transformer gun so you can turn Splinter back into a human. <laughs> oh yeah, the boomerangs are probably the best type of weapon to, to use. Well, that along with the scroll weapon. I mean, the scroll weapon, you, you're pretty much OP at that point. Huh. Okay, I'll admit, that's one thing I never tried to do when I was in that area. I would always just try to, you know, just, yeah, I would just try to, like, you know, jump up. I mean, I had to, I actually had to ask my cousin to do that, to help me out with that one, and, and it worked. Oh yeah, area four. Oh my gosh, yeah. If you're not careful, uh, yeah. If you don't move fast, you're gonna get impaled by that by those things. Ugh. And, and you want and you want to make sure that you basically fit. And you yeah. Enough said. Oof. Ah yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
Gotta love those little strategy guides. Yep, Fifth Avenue and Greenwick Village. Uh huh. Hudson River near the Holland Tunnel. Yep. I love being a turtle! <laughs> ah, yep. Area three. Party wagon dudes. <laughs> All right. Well, I would, okay, well, this is definitely one stream where we're going to have to actually cut it short. And oh, we got it. Oh, we got like we backed up about an, one hour and 17 minutes. All right. Very cool. All right. So, uh, but rather than having to start from scratch on the next go around, because there will be a, a continuation of this and it'll probably either be tomorrow or Saturday, but we are definitely going to be picking up where we left off on this thing. So what I'm going to do is basically just save the game. And whether it be tomorrow or Saturday, I definitely am going to be picking up where I left off on that one. Because, again, this game, especially the NES, the first NES Ninja Turtles game is a classic. Um, and I definitely want to be able to take everybody off on this journey to get to the Technodrome. In which case, yeah, that's going to be a whole other... Yeah. <laughs> but still, it'll, it's definitely one worth doing. So, but for now, though, we're actually going to go ahead and call it a night. Uh, but still, I hope everybody had a good time. And so on the next go around, we will be picking up where we left off with this. And hopefully also we will be doing a lot more than just Konami. Uh, so, but again, so first off, let me just go ahead and save this game. All right, great. Yes, indeed. All right, folks, so that concludes our little Konami, our little uh, power hour, um, especially uh, power hour, Konami, Konami Sember special, I should say. So um, thank you very much to everybody for joining. And Uber Nerd, again, thanks again for coming by. And hopefully on the next go around, we'll, conti we'll continue where we left off. And in addition to Konami, we will basically be, uh, I think I'm probably going to have like some kind of marathon of sorts. Um, plus also, I'm going to also try and uh, work on some articles for both uh, the Arcade Archives and Kerpawi. So to everyone out there who's been following both, uh, both accounts, uh, you know, again, stay tuned because we got a lot of cool stuff coming up. And so, but for everybody though, um, you know, thank you so much for joining me on my stream and happy holidays to everyone and have a good night. And of course, as always, as we like to say on the websites, keep playing like it's 1981. All right. Good night, everyone.